In this video, I'm going to talk about my tent setup, which I use for my solo bikepacking trips. And this includes my tent, my sleeping bag, my mattress and my pillow. So I'm going to review whether I like them or not and if I would recommend them to you all. And to be clear, this video isn't sponsored at all, which I'm open for, but... But for the ones new here, my name is Elizabeth and on this channel I share all my bike and travel adventures and also videos like this that cover the practical side of bikepacking. So if you like this video even a little bit, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really supports my channel. So thank you a lot. And now let's dive in. Starting with the main item of this video, my tent. So I bought this tent at the Decathlon for 35 euros. I will put the link down in the description. And I bought this tent because I did want a tent to use for my bikepacking trips. But at that time I wasn't sure if I would even like bikepacking with a tent. So I didn't want to spend too much money on it. As I only did one bikepacking trip at that time. And uh, on that trip I only slept in hostels and hotels. So it was just for me to like explore if I would like it. And besides that I wanted a cheap one to test it out, I also wanted a tent for two persons, which this is, because I felt that lying down in these one person tents, it felt way too claustrophobic for me. So this one was a perfect fit. So while well, I'll show you how this tent is pitched, I'll discuss the pros and cons of this tent. Starting with the pros. First, as you can see, the tent is very easy to pitch. After the first time, you know exactly how it works and it takes me about five minutes to pitch it. So that's perfect. Besides that, I feel there's enough space inside the tent for me and my bags. The tent is made for two, but as I prefer to have some more space, I really like it this way. However, if you are okay with less space, you could fit in here with two persons, although that will be tight. But I guess this is a common thing with bikepacking tents, as people want lightweighted tents for their trips. Furthermore, the tent has a mosquito net, which is of course nice. And a nice additional thing is that there are two storage compartments in the tent at the back, which I use surprisingly often. Lastly, the tent doesn't leak during heavy rainfall, until now at least which is really important when biking through the Netherlands or other parts of Europe. Okay, so far the pros and now the cons of this tent. The first one is that you can't really place stuff outside of your inner tent and keep it dry, as the space between your inner and outdoor tent at the front is really small and just enough for, for example, a pair of shoes. However, if you sleep in a tent by yourself, as I do, that is not a big problem as you can put all your stuff inside. The second con is related to this, as a tent doesn't provide living space outside your inner tent, where you can sit dry or party dry while cooking or reading a book. So when it's raining, you need to sit inside your tent or you need to have a spot at the campsite where you can sit dry, which isn't always the case. However, I guess such a living space isn't that common in these type of tents anyway. And lastly, the package is, when you compare it to some other tents specific for hiking or bikepacking, a bit large and heavy. Although it totally isn't bad, I must say. It's 2.6 kg in total, and if you compare this to much more expensive tents, the difference isn't that much. Okay, so a conclusion to whether I would recommend this tent or not. And if you are in the same position as I was when I bought this tent, so you are a beginner and you're not even sure if you like backpacking, I would really, really recommend this tent, as it is only 35 euros and you get a really decent tent for it. I think that is just a really good deal. But also, if you are... Um, 
more experienced backpacker and you know that you like backpacking with a tent, I would still recommend this tent as the cons were for me no big no-goes. And if you haven't that much to spend, this is a really, really good option to have a fun time. So this tent is a yes for me. But I have to say that I cannot compare this tent to a more expensive one. So perhaps these more expensive ones have features that this tent doesn't have. So I cannot say anything about it. I can only say that this tent is a basic tent which is fine for me. Okay, on to the other elements of my setup, which are my mattress, my sleeping bag and my pillow, which I also bought all at the Decathlon. Starting with my mattress. It is light and a very small package when folded and it is easy to inflate the mattress. However, in my opinion, it isn't comfortable when lying on it. It is okay. And as some might know who watched my earlier videos, while camping I was cold almost every night. And I shouldn't blame only my mattress for it. Especially now that I know more about my sleeping bag. But Online it says it should work well with temperatures above 8 degrees, which it was on my trips. So the conclusion here is that the mattress is okay, certainly if you're not easily cold as I am. But when I'm looking at the price, I'm a bit more negative, as I paid 50 euros for it and I think with that price I should be more like enthusiastic about it, so I think I wouldn't recommend this one. Then my sleeping bag. Well, yep, that's a whole other story as people that have seen previous videos of mine uh, might know that I've struggled quite a lot with my sleeping situation as I was called a lot of, well, almost every night of my backpacking trips. Um, and I didn't know what like what a problem was with me being cold the whole time and when looking online for which bag sleeping bag I had bought uh, to share with all of you I found kind of the reason why I was cold the whole time on my trip as the sleeping bag was made for temperatures above 15 degrees and on my trip it was a lot of the nights around 10 degrees at night, so yeah, I kind of found a problem here. But I also know why I bought this sleeping bag, because I was um, biking in the summer and the people at the store told me, well, if you're biking in the summer, then um, this one should be fine. And I think it also like should have been fine if uh, it weren't um, so cold nights in this summer. So yeah, I'm never gonna make this mistake again. Okay, so in this review, I will leave these long and cold nights aside. I will try to. <laughs> and then I can say that the sleeping bag has a really nice material and it's super light and super small package. So, that are really nice elements of this bag. So far, so good. However, I must say that for me, the sleeping bag was a little bit too small. Well, I'm not super big and not super skinny, and my size was M, so I thought that would be fine. But like at night, I couldn't really turn within my sleeping bag, which I do a lot when I'm sleeping. So that's um, a thing that you should keep in mind if you're buying one. My final advice regarding this sleeping bag, which costs 50 euros at Decathlon, is that I would only buy it if you know for sure that you're gonna stay in a place with a warm climate and that you're not easily cold as I am. Because further, it's a really nice sleeping bag. And perhaps buy a bigger size than you would normally do if you turn around a lot in your sleep like I do. Last but not least, my pillow, which I couldn't find anymore on the Decathlon site, but I do remember it was quite cheap. However, I can be really short about this. I didn't like it. Uh, the package was super light and super small, of course, because it's an inflatable pillow, but 
I think I just don't like an inflatable pillow. I just want my pillow to be soft and well, yeah. So perhaps if you do like inflatable pillows, this one is the one for you because it's cheap and it's light and it's just fine. But otherwise, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. So that was my review of my tent setup. And to summarize it, the tent, a big yes. The mattress, not really a fan. The sleeping bag, yes, but only if you're not easily cold as I am. And the pillow, well, yes, I just told you yes and no, depending on your preference. So that was it. And that was it also for this video. It was a lot of information and I hope some of it was helpful for you. If you have any gear recommendations yourself, please leave them in the comments as I'm also still searching for some new items. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And then I'll say, see you in the next one. <laughs>